making a huge comeback right now that there's more concern about the Delta variant of the COVID strain. Starting tomorrow, Giant Eagle employees are required to wear masks and customers are encouraged to wear face coverings also. Several other businesses are putting in similar policies. And News 5's Jay Jarvis explains what your rights are around those mask mandates. Uh, so, you know, as cases rise and as the CDC changes their guidelines, um, we take that into account. Brett Sawyer, part owner and chef at Good Company Restaurant in Cleveland, says all of his staff members are vaccinated, but that new guidance means they'll all now be wearing masks while working. The new policy went into effect over the weekend. But with everything happening, we feel like it's our responsibility when we have a lot of people that we don't know if they're vaccinated or not uh, in the restaurant to wear our masks to do our part to kind of quell the spread of COVID as much as we can. The restaurant is in good company with other large retailers announcing they're bringing back mask mandates in some form. Target said it's requiring workers to wear masks and is strongly recommending that all customers wear them where COVID case rates are high. And starting Wednesday, Giant Eagle will require employees and customers to mask up. Cleveland-based attorney Dan Karen says even without federal or state mandates in place, businesses are allowed to set those rules and employees and customers don't have much of a say. Now, your boss doesn't have the right to tell you not to get pregnant, protected class, but your boss has the right to tell you to wear a mask. You're an Atwell employee. You don't like it. Quit or run the risk of getting fired. As it concerns customers, wearing a mask or a mask requirement, I should say, is no different than your no shoes, no shoes, no shirt, no service, than a dress code at a bar or a restaurant. Right now, customers will not be required to wear masks while entering or walking around good company. But Sawyer says that could change if case counts continue to rise in Cleveland. Jay Jarvis, News 5.